Because it's the truth that makes you free. Amen. So what the Word of God does, when you hear it and you do it, it begins to deliver you. There's more delivering power sitting under the Word of God than casting out demons. Yes. And the demon should only be cast out by a word of, of wisdom or a word of knowledge anyway. That you, you know that something's stopping this person. And then you can cast it out through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You, you know, so you can do something about it. So the best way to clean someone up, the best way to set someone free is to say, hey, get in church, sit down, listen to the word, and the word will begin to bring life. Amen. And because the ability is within the seed, isn't it? Yep. So someone needs to hear that so they have an opportunity to understand and know. And they can get free. Get free from all different things that are holding us back in our life. And there's always something trying to hold us back because... because Satan is the God of this world. And so the influence of the kingdom of darkness, because Satan is the God of this world's order and this world's system, uh, he's there to hinder human beings because we've been created in the image and likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he'll do whatever he can to stop you hearing truth, to hear you, to stop us from receiving Jesus as Lord. And it, when we do receive Jesus as our Lord, He's there to stop us from growing, from moving on, from getting released from, from things that are habits or whatever, fears. Because the whole atmosphere is permeated by fear. Everything you hear, everything you see, is, it's all controlled by fear, isn't it? Where God's kingdom is controlled by faith. So that's why we have to reprogram our thinking too, by, by truth, by the word, and renew our mind, isn't it? So we can think more like, more like Jesus, yeah? 